Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Do you want to know how I make my videos? So one of the main questions I get is how I edit my videos and I would like to talk about all those things now because there's quite a few different steps to doing it. So this is part of my starting a YouTube channel tutorial series. It's a bit off of what I usually talk about which is crochet and crochet related items but it, there's lots of people out there who are starting channels and I would just like to encourage everybody to do it. If it's something in your heart that you want to do, just start, just do it. Nobody's perfect, nobody starts perfect, nobody is perfect. Just start with what you have and you will learn as you go. First of all, what you need is probably just like your phone. What, they all take really good uh, video these days, that's amazing, and something to hold it or a selfie stick or a tripod. I started, because I wanted to start doing tutorials, I realized and remembered I had this old camera with a flip up screen, so technically I could put it on a tripod and have it sitting over top of me upside down, so I would be going like this underneath it and I could kind of still see if I was in frame or if my battery died, which is usually what happened. The sound quality wasn't that great, this is a, a Nikon P510. Um, and I was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll get one of those lapel mics and just use that for the sound. Realized, I bought one, realized this does not even have a microphone jack. So check if your camera has a microphone jack. I didn't. Ha! Oops. Then I realized, long and short, have to buy another camera. If this is something I wanted to do, and I do enjoy it a lot, so I did. I got a new camera. I got the Canon, what is it? It's the 200D here. Uh, which is the same as the SL2. So it's basically the cheapest camera with the best video and a silent lens. The other problem with this one is when it's focusing, you hear this uh, 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 and it's like really, like it's annoying. So you need a silent lens, which is basically Canon is the one with the technology to do that. And the cheapest one with the, good, with the best flip out screen and all the bits and whistles and bobs that you need to make good video content is the SL2. It's about $600. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Totally worth it. So this one, see you later. I don't use it anymore. I know where it is. My husband asked me, he's like, do you know where it is? I'm like, I know where it is. But only because I was filming this. But you can also just use your phone. I still use my phone for doing the live chats on Fridays. I just put it in the little cell phone hooker upper thing and put it on my tripod. And that's how I do my live chats. It's so much easier than a laptop. So that's how I do that. And then I just had an old tripod laying around. I have it stuck onto my window where I do my filming for tutorials. I'll show you that in a minute. So this is where and how I film my videos. I just have my tripod stuck with zip ties onto my uh, window, onto the bars on my window. And I, then I have my little desk shoved right underneath the window. So I can film here any morning from, like, from daylight until about 1 o'clock when the sun starts coming in. You can see there's a bit of a shadow here, but I try to just ignore it or pull my desk out a bit more. And then I also just covered it with some white fabric. I also have some black fleece, depending on the yarn I'm using. But now this has to get washed because I killed a spider on it. So that sucks. I have my basket of all the bits and things, bits and pieces I might need. And I also keep a lint roller nearby just so I can pick up whatever lint or fuzz from yarn is on my table before I shoot my hands on top of it. And that's my secret to filming. And then I got another tripod, which I'm actually using now from Amazon. If you're buying a tripod, look at the weight of it. Really, you just need a tripod. It's not rocket science. But make sure, like you don't, don't get like a super duper lightweight one. I got the cheap Amazon, Amazon Choice or whatever it is, it was $17 and I was like, oh it's fine. They had one that went up a bit taller it seemed, like the only difference was it was taller. But I was like, it doesn't matter. So I just got the one, and that one was 23 or 24, I got the one for 16. It is so flimsy and so wobbly. Don't get that one look for one that is at least a little bit heavy. So the bottom, like whatever it is, the weight of a tripod, that's what holds your camera like nice and solid. 
So get a heavier tripod. Look at the shipping weight, find one that's heavier than this one. Not that I don't love Amazon, I do. And then I just got an actual tripod. My husband got me a gift. I'm so lucky. Um, I'll show you the box. I was like, what is that? It looks like a, like a skidoo or something. It's so huge. Anyway, I got the 055 Manfrotto. Look at that cat. Boy, I love him. I'm so happy. I don't know. I was just like, you know, you Google. Well, I Google because I live in Kenya, so I can't actually go shopping. Well, it turns out there's a store here that sells these, but who knew? Uh, so this big, heavy tripod came. I, heard, I forget the weight of it, and I do have it expanded. But look at this bad boy. I'm in love with him. This one is obviously more than $17. This one is $379, I think, on Amazon. But so marvelously wonderful. I, I, like, I don't even know how to use it yet. Like, honestly. I have no idea. I googled a bunch of stuff and it even has like a swing out I guess I should show you right okay hold on so I'm gonna start using that oh and I want to show you also this is actually a really good thing to look for if I remember how to do it okay loosen E gosh push this one up all the way this tips that way great and then it goes back through and then you can tighten it again. So this way you can film literally on top of your desk. If you find a tripod that does this, goes across, and so you can film directly up, like you can film overhead, that is really great and that is what you want. You do not have to get a super great tripod, but get at least one that is not $17. Like get at least like a bit. It should be heavier than your camera, basically. This is great, this is my best. I also got a new lens for my camera. It's the 50, they call it the nifty 50, is the slang for it. It's the one that, so if I was focused now, oh, let's try it, okay, wait. I have to Google how to change lenses also. So don't think I'm a tech head, because I am not. But I can do it now. So this is my new lens. This is the Nifty 50. I really need to be farther away. I need my microphone so you can hear me. But you can see how everything behind me is blurry. I need my twinkle lights. Let's see twinkle lights. This is what you're supposed to have it for. Oh yeah, see there, I have twinkles behind me. Mm. But isn't that crazy? So this one's not too much. It's about $120, I think. $125 for this lens, the Nifty 50. Uh, it's, I don't know the rest of it, but I'll put a link in the description box below. Anyway, moving back. Okay, so that was the Nifty 50. Really, really good for like taking photos. I, w I just went around and all of a sudden you're a photographer. So like that is so worth it. And I think also like if you want to do like arty farty pictures for your website and stuff, that is the one to have. Good idea on my list of things to do. Not going to do it. Maybe in the spring. So those were my big prezzies, super happy about it. I also got this one, oh. although this one I bought myself and my friend brought, I got it on Amazon and my friend brought it back when she came back from Canada. And this is the Sennheiser professional shotgun microphone for audio journalists. So this one, is really good. Lots of people use Rode, R-O-D-E, and uh, there's a lot of different microphones out there, but I know from using this product before, or using this brand before, my husband has the headphones for gaming. It is, the sound is so beautiful. Like the first time I listened, I almost, I almost teared up. It was so beautiful, like so clean and crisp and gorgeous that I wanted like, don't joke, just wait, like, save up, because this isn't cheap either. This is $380 or something like that. And you can get a road, like, about 100 bucks, 150 bucks, 200 bucks maybe. So this is, like, a lot more. And you are buying the brand. But if it's what you're going to do, 
and you love it, then it makes you happy. So I'm gonna do an unboxing for this. I have to figure out how to use it. Don't have any idea, but that's what you want to do. So the gist of it, start with whatever you have and then upgrade your footage, however you can do that. Upgrade your camera to like a silent lens, that helps out a lot. Upgrade your audio so that you don't have like the echo and you don't hear like every single thing around you. And upgrade your tripod, up get some lighting if you need lighting. Luckily, I live in Kenya, so it's daylight. The sun comes up at 6.30 and sets at 6.30. So I have like a good six hours a day of filming. I film my tutorials right underneath a window, so I have light, and then I only film the tutorials during the morning hours, so there's no direct sunlight. Once there's direct sunlight, it can mess you up. So you just have to figure out what time of day you do not have direct sun, but you have light coming in through your windows. And that's when you do your filming. And then when it's too bright or too dark is when you do your editing. I also bought this newer light source thingy, but jiggy. And I got this one because it has, I can turn it on and you can see, it has a battery pack and you can also plug it in to AC or whatever if you have the power but you can also change it from is it showing up no Woo. so that's the bright oh good gosh and then you can make it yellow or blue blue can you see yellow Look how bright that thing is good gosh so there's the blue, and then you can go e all the way to yellow. So you can kind of match, you're supposed to be able, to, and then you can turn the brightness up or down. So you can have a little bit of light or like a lot of light. So I got that one too. These ones aren't much on Amazon, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, and it, it can fit on top of your camera or on a tripod. So I was gonna use my little $17 tripod for this, this one. And you also get extra batteries. I got two extra batteries. For this one, I haven't used it yet, but I like it. Uh, I think it's a good thing to have, but then I also just realize like, it's just also easy to be like, okay, anytime from nine until one o'clock, I can film happily without sun coming in. I can even film tutorials and stuff on the sofa, not tutorials, I can film uh, talking videos when I'm sitting here any time of day, other than night. So I don't really need a light source, but in my head I was like, oh, everybody has one, I need one. Eh. I mean, you could. Some people use it for like their hair. They call it a hair light. And then they, you're supposed to get like some sparkle on your hair. Cute. I'm into it. I have one. I haven't used it. For your camera, you also want extra batteries because it really sucks. Like if you're talking or doing something, you don't want to have to wait two hours and remember what you were saying to go and to keep talking. So you want at least two extra batteries for your camera and a good SD card, like a big, not good. You want a big SD card. Uh, I have a 128 gigabyte in this one now and I'd never have to think about it because my camera came with 10 16 gigabyte ones which was a bit of a pain in the butt because I have to be like oh take everything off because I don't want to be like mid border on a blanket and be like oh I have to go and like stop and take everything off like transfer everything off of my SD card so a big SD card really does help it just takes it off of your list of things to do and you can you can't really fill up a 128 so then you have your footage then you go on to editing. I use Wondershare Filmora. It is not free. It's, it's, I paid for it twice because I changed computers. Apparently, if there you could, there's a box you can tick when you are checking out and it's extra $8 or something and it lets you download it again and again, which I didn't check and I should have ticked off. And anyway, I've bought it twice. It's $40 if you don't want to download it twice really easy to use program it comes with the little things like the little sliders the little words that come across the bottom and a whole bunch of different styles things that come in the center of the screen sparkly like all the things that, you, that people would use to make a video is all in there including your music clips that are free because you don't want to get stuck on well you don't want to get caught with any copyrights and all that so everything in filmora is free and good to use so i have that i use pick monkey for to make my thumbnails and uh, even to make your logo you can use it to make your logo 
just drag and drop and move things around. It has the fonts and everything. That is free to use unless you want some of the new fonts and the new services or to save everything to the hub. So I have done that. I've paid for a whole year. It's just easier to do. And some things, if you pay for something, it's just an easier experience. If you want your logo to spin or anything like that, then I went to Envato, probably saying that wrong, uh, this website down here, Envato. I'll put a link in the description box below. Well, they can make your logo spin, is what it is, because I wanted a spinning logo. That's what I did. They have ones, they have like all the intros you can have. You, like, it's really great. Go check out the things they have. It's very inspirational, and you can use your own. Um, you, you pay for it. It's like it's $10 or $15 or $25 if you want something super crazy, but you don't have to do anything. They do it for you, and it looks really professional. So you can always go and check that out. They also have music over there if you don't want what's on Filmora, but then I'm like, never mind, like, Filmora's fine for me. I'm not that fussy. The size you need to make your thumbnails is uh, 1280 by 720. Those are the pixels and you could resize in PicMonkey also. So that's just something to keep in your head. You also want to do an intro video, a welcome video. I have to do a new one actually. But you need a welcome video for your channel. So when people go to your home page, you have a little blurb of what you're all about. That's a really helpful thing to do. And also just make your home, your web page, your YouTube page look cute. Put some cute art at the top and put links to your Instagram or whatever. Just you know, put some playlists up. You can totally customize that page. So totally do that. And if you want to do tutorials, including what you're doing on a computer screen, then the program I use, I also paid for it, it's 20 bucks I think, is Game Show. Super easy to use. I just, I'd rather pay 20 bucks and have an easy program than get something for free that I don't understand how to use. So I think for, for like 20 bucks, it's an understandable format, basically. Because I'm not a tech head and I'm not like 19. So all these things, the more help I get with it, the better. Once you have your videos up and you want people to, you want more people to find them and things, there's a couple other things you can do to help people find your videos. I just figured this out a couple months ago, but one is called VidIQ. You can Google that one. It helps you with tags. It helps you name your videos, although I haven't figured that out yet, but it's supposed to help you name your videos. And then there's another one called TubeBuddy. I'm using TubeBuddy just because it likes my credit card and VidIQ doesn't like my credit card. I'm in Kenya, so lots of North American websites that use a payment gateway called Stripes does not like credit card addresses from Kenya. It just says, um, like it just doesn't go through, it bounces back. So I'm, I'm assuming VidIQ uses Stripes and TubeBuddy doesn't. So I'm with TubeBuddy, although perfect world I'd be with VidIQ also. They're great. So you can check those out and you, there's little videos of like how it can help you grow your channel which I think is great. I use it for tags and I use it, they have like a template you could use, the free, it's free even, but you don't even have to pay for it, is um, just to make templates of your tags for your videos because that's how people search for your videos is like, oh, I want to look for this, so they type it in and you can put that little search, uh, those search words in the tags of your video. If you have any questions that I didn't answer or didn't explain very clearly, leave it in the comments box below. I would love to help you out with that. Not that I'm a professional, but I've, I can definitely share with you what I have learned. So thank you very much for watching everybody and have a great day. Like, subscribe and share. Stay hooked. Maybe not. <laughs> this is the money. Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, I feel so productive. Oh, there's something else I need to do here. Oh no, I don't. Like a boss. Now that I have a concussion on my head.